I found this blazer on my favorite tipping place, my mom's closet. Uh, don't worry, she hasn't worn it in the last 20 years. But it's a bit too big for me, so I'm going to use what I find the easiest way to downsize a blazer and trousers. I'm using them to go down into three sizes, so I guess it works with a lot of size ranges, although it doesn't work design-wise with every suit. So if you want to try this method, um, here's what to look for on those pieces. On the blazer, look at the side seams. On this case, the straighter the better. This blazer isn't supposed to be fitted at the waist, and this alteration won't change that. Next, take a look at the shoulders. If they don't go too wide, it may pass as an oversized look, but if they are too big for you, consider removing the shoulder pads, or at least cutting them shorter. As you can see, mine didn't even have shoulder pads. Now, the trousers, they are of the 90s, maybe 80s, uh, which means they have a crotch curve on the flatter side and really shallow darts. Rounder crotches and deeper darts don't resize well, and you would probably need to modify them to fit you. It's doable, but it takes a bit more work, and honestly, this kind of pattern fits a lot of shapes. It should be the universal flattering design for trousers. They are also of a lightweight fabric, which makes things a lot easier and more manageable. And let's start. I measured my waist and divided it by 4. Then I turned the trousers inside out, laid the waistband flat, back seam in line with the front seam, and measured from that point outwards. Usually I add the width of my pinky for comfort and that's what I did here, and then marked with a pin. And obviously I did the same for the other side. Now, wearing the trousers, it's easier to see how much I should take from the hips and mark there with pins. And I'll just have to sew a curve from one mark to the other. When I reach that last pin, I just keep sewing, maintaining the distance from the original side seam. And here I am, ripping the hem halfway through my work because I forgot to do so before sewing. Also, notice that I'm stopping at the hem fold because I don't want to mess up the hem shape. This will be useful later. Now, I wasn't happy with the fit at the ankle, so I measured how much I wanted to take, which was four fingers, and took half of it from each side of the leg. I want to sew in a straight line from the ankles to the hip mark I previously made, so I'm making some marks along the way to make sure I don't fall off from the path. And now I'm doing the same for the interior seam, from the ankle to about the middle of my thigh, which is about a palm in distance from the crotch. I am again stopping at the hem fold. It turned out great, but I realized then that I should have shortened the legs, so I will have to do that now. After deciding where I wanted the hem to lay, I pressed it with my iron and cut the excess fabric, leaving 3 centimeters of allowance. And as you can see, now the side seam is too long and I have to rip this part. Now it's time to finish the side seams. With the trousers inside out, fold the hem and see how the fabric reacts. It's obvious, it will look off if we just continue the side seam as it was, and to know in which angle we should sew that part, widen the legs with your hands until they look flat on the surface. As you can see, the interior of the hem will immediately follow that widening, mark there with chalk or a pin, and now you know how to complete your side seams. To finish them, I'm using my searcher, but of course you can just sew the edges with a zigzag stitch, or even with a blanket stitch if you're doing it by hand. The only important thing here is that I only started to sew here, see? Below the waistband. This is a great way to prevent the threads and stitches from making an appearance when you're wearing your trousers, and also it looks less bulky. And these are the last steps. I'm overlocking the hem and sewing it with an invisible stitch. And the trousers are done. Now, for the blazer, I'm just deciding how much more I want it to close marking where the buttonholes should lay with the pin. That's it. That's the downsizing. Then I remove the buttons and just move them to their new location. And it's done! My new modernized vintage summer suit is ready. I'm not sure if I'll ever wear these together, but I'll let them separate. And that's it! Thank you for watching!